Hello, my name is John. I'm also known by Popo. Um, my relatives call me Popo and everyone else calls me John. This uh, video is for the drummer of the band, Band Made. I'm an ambidextrous drummer and I have a unique way of drumming. Um, I've taken a piece of wood and I clipped um, a double right kick pedal and a double left kick pedal so I, I can do a 180 um, degree uh, drumming. And I wanted to share this video um, because I also drum uh, right-handed separately and left-handed separately. And what I do is I'll take the um, double left-handed, um, double left kicked uh, pedals and I'll include a single pedal right next to it using the same piece of wood and um, and then on the left side, I, I do a double right kick pedal with a, another single pedal next to it. And essentially, when I'm drumming, um, my double left kick pedals have a soft head, my double right kick pedals have a hard head. So if I'm drumming right side only, um, I have two, I have the double kick um, left pedals with soft heads and then a single um, hard head pedal next to it and it and, uh, creates a very interesting dynamic it's a it adds another um, accent to drumming and then on the left hand side I'll have a double right kick pedal with um, hard heads and then a single soft head uh, pedal on the side of it so I'm gonna go through this and show you how it's set up I have the drum set set up for I'm playing both right and left at the same time and then I'm going to end the video uh, set it up for left hand side so you can see that and then I'll end that video and set it up for right hand side so you can see that essentially the uh, right hand setup and the left hand setup are more of a drum uh, more of a jazz style um, drumming and um, something like John Ma um, Bottom would do um, these, uh, this set right here for the ambidextrous is just something that I've been able to put together so that it enables me to drum doing a 180 um, degree. Um, being ambidextrous, um, I can play both left and right at the same time. Um, recently I've been learning how to play um, left hand guitar, I play right hand guitar and it's something that happened to me late in life um, like with um, playing music um, I am essentially um, disabled and I've been watching um, Bandmade for probably the last like um, seven years and they're amazing um, I really love their music um, they're my favorite band um, all of them are really good people, and they're they're my teachers. Every time I see them, I, I I say to myself, "Oh, that's how you do it," or "Oh, that's how you do it." And every single one of them, they they all teach me, you know. And I'm very grateful, and they inspire me. Um, a lot of myself becoming a musician has been waking up in the morning, watching three of their videos, being inspired, and then going and playing some music. Um, I've just finished an album. Um, well, actually, the, all the songs are created. There are electric guitar songs, alternative rock songs. People tell me that the songs created with me remind them of Kurt Cobain. Um, that's not my intent. Um, I love letting go, noodling around, see what comes up, and putting things together and um, in, a, in a natural way. In a, um, so I just completed that uh, this last week and um, sometime within the next year I want to start to record that album um, with myself playing all the instruments just because I want to hear what it sounds like um, I've always wanted to hear that never had a real way to pursue it and um, a natural healing medicine helped me out and the love of everybody around me helped me out and then I've tried my best to find a way to go on with this and in the end I learned that I just had to stop working at it and being of an acceptance with the way things are good and or bad 
accepting them that's just the way things are and then going on in some way of love you know with hurt with wanting to love with being loved and even with being hated in some kind of way or experiencing hurt in some kind of way in life if it's done of an acceptance as a reaction and or an action and as a foundation then we're able to be the love that we are and we're able to really express who we are and be our best okay so here we go um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out the way everything's set up, the pedals, um, how they work together, and then I'll take a break from this. Um, I think the lighting, yeah. I'll take a, a break from this, and then I'll set up the other setup, do a little bit of drumming, maybe put that included in this. And uh, if anything, this is just so that it can enable um, the drummer from Bandmade. Um, it's hard for me to remember things sometimes, so I apologize for not saying her name. Um, to see that there's this other way of drumming and it enables a, a, a different dynamic, a different accent. And um, so here we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so essentially, as an ambidextrous drummer, I have the double left kick pedal, which is essentially for right hand drumming and double right kick pedal, which is essentially for a left hand drum. Also have a snare next to the um, double right kick pedal, and I have another snare next to the um, double um, left kick pedal. So essentially, when I'm drumming, I can switch from these two soft heads. Now, let, me, let me come back out of here real quick, just for a moment. What you'll see on the double left kick pedal is these have soft heads. And then you'll see on the double right kick pedal, these have hard heads. So when I'm um, drumming left or right, essentially I'll take the, the double left kick pedal and then I'll put a single pedal right here. And with the double left kicked pedal, um, since it has a soft head, when I use a single um, pedal next to it, I'll include a hard head. So it, it adds a different dynamic. And then when I'm using the double right kick pedal, I'll put a single pedal next to it and I'll include it as a soft head pedal. This will enable another um, dynamic of drumming. And essentially, when you're using this type of method, um, the wood underneath this has the bass drum sitting on top. So you can use soft heads or hard heads like you want and, you know, drum in the way that you want. What I wanted to do, I forgot to show this, but um, this right here is a piece of wood. This is the wood that I'm using to clip both the double left kick and right kick pedals together. And then, and what this is, is this is essentially a 24 inch piece of wood, three and a half inches uh, wide, uh, 24 inches long and a quarter inch thick. I cut it down to 22 inch um, inches because that's uh, preferable. It doesn't get in the way of any um, drum cymbals. Um, and um, it's optimal for um, drumming. Um, you can get this at any Home Depot. Um, essentially, this is what it's listed as. Turn this over. It's a Poplar hobby board. It's a 0.25, which is a quarter inch, 3.5 inches, and then by two feet. Okay. So, I have one of these over here. And what I do is, when I clip the double left kick pedal and the double right kick pedal together to this board, then I, I put the bass drum and I just lay it on top of it. And so, it enables me to use the double uh, left kick and the double right kick with the, the single um, bass drum all at once. Okay, so getting back over here, 
there's an interesting dynamic um, with this type of drumming. And uh, let me see if I can get this in here. Okay. So I got, I have a hi-hat access. I have this pedal. And then I also have this pedal. But then I can come over here and use this single pedal. So I can essentially, I can do something like this. That's working off of the left side. Those are two um, soft heads with one hard head. And that's essentially what I do when I'm drumming right, except the drum configuration is a lot different. Um, it's, um, it's more of a jazz style type of drumming. And um, this is more for me to drum in a um, 180 degree because I can drum left and right at the same time. So this is the setup now for the um, left hand and um, for the right handed uh, um, sorry for the right hand double kick pedal which is essentially dr drumming from the left side so we have a um, hi-hat cymbal in um, first pedal then we have second pedal and then we have a soft head which is essentially what we do when I'm drumming left-handed we just um, use the um, single pedal and, and rather than a double um, left kick and so essentially you can you have access to the um, hi-hat you got access to the single pedal I mean to to the second pedal you have access to the first pedal and then you have an extra pedal here and this adds a, this adds an extra dynamic to drumming and essentially what I'm hoping to do is inspire drummers to do this to take that hobby board cut it down to 22 inches put some kind of double kick pedal with a single pedal next to it and then essentially you get an, an added pedal which enables an, an interesting dynamic and or an extra accent to drumming so you could do something like this. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna turn this around. So essentially, this is the this is me and the ambidextrous drumming setup. This video is probably gonna look like a bunch of junk, but I'm hoping that it can express something that can help out other people. This piece of wood right here. Is really amazing. Um, it enables me to clip an extra pedal to the side of a um, double kick pedal and essentially what you do when you do this is you're putting the pedals off center so that the double kick pedal would just be right off center and then the the single pedal would be right off center on the other side and this enables you to ha use um, 
three kick pedals at the same time along with a fourth hi-hat um, pedal and then you, you get an interesting dynamic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just record myself jamming for a little bit. I put um, headphones over my ears to protect my hearing. I use a mouth guard and I wanted to show this to you. Uh, let's see, what do we do? Oh, okay. Um, this is um, a Wilson mouth guard. It's a plastic piece. And um, as you can see, uh, this one's for adults. It costs. Okay. I got this at Big Five. And um, it only costs three dollars. And what there is um, is this. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> this clear um, mouth guard, and there's these markings on it, and you can essentially trim it down to whatever size your mouth is. So I chipped my tooth um, last um, November. I had my cymbals up too high, and the 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 up um, stroke rather than a down stroke, I chipped one of my teeth. So now I use this guard to help protect, and I cut it down to size. Um, yeah, there, there's these little markings. You can see them right there, and essentially I cut off of the top. Uh, marking down and that enables me to have it um, f enough for my my teeth if somebody had larger teeth I imagine that they would want to cut lower but um, you can essentially just cut it down to whatever um, whatever size you would like to have it to fit your your mouth okay and I also got this from my local um, hardware store and these cost me fourteen dollars and they are safety glasses so I can take off my glasses here which are essentially for um, reading and in case I have an upswing and hits me in the eyes I'm not going to damage my eyesight and so drumming has really become like a sports or a sport and um, so essentially that's what I do when I'm drumming. I'm going to put this up on the stand, play for a few minutes. I'm not sure if I'm going to let the, the video run. Break it down, hit it, and then um, I'm going to make it into a left hand um, setup. It's more of a jazz style. I'm going to make it into a right hand setup, which is more of a, you know, a jazz style too. Um, kind of like how John Bonham sets up. Really dig John Bonham love his upstrokes and um, he plays around the beat he plays on the beat um, I saw an interview with um, um, Jimmy Page and um, Jimmy Page said that Bonham really likes to get into the you know he had a real amazing way of getting into the groove and the thing about Bonham is that he's very powerful but he doesn't play as a powerful drummer he, he plays lightly. Um, he has a, um, what they call ghost notes or a soft touch type note. And it isn't about, you know, dominating. It's, it's about being a, um, a, a, a accompaniment um, to the other members of the band. And I love, um, I believe her name is Akane. And I hope that I'm right. Um, sometimes my memory it's kind of hard and it would really hurt me if I missed her name she has a very like um, like melodic and and rhythmic type drumming that essentially I do when I'm not jamming on the hi-hat and I just completely love how she drums how she all the band uh, members of bandmate they play together um, they all give what they can and they, they create this amazing um, presence that, that that's um, one together. They, they, they create um, 
a really beautiful music and um, it, a lot of uh, meaning behind it and um, just very inspiring, very, very good music. And so um, I guess that's how any band is, you know, where you, you don't play to dominate the other members. You just give what you can, and like John Bonham did with um, Led Zeppelin. And so I'm going to do a little bit of drumming here, change it up, and uh, just keep on doing until we finish this um, video. Um, this video was created so that it could help drummers and specifically the drummer for Bandmade. I was hoping to share this with her so that she can see, hey, there's this other way of drumming. And um, my drumming skills are, you know, eh. <laughs> but I love drumming and it, it makes me very happy. And when I can, I show up. Um, it helps me to heal, helps me to be healthy. I'm also, um, going to share some guitar songs and um, so anyways just wanted to create this say thank you share love and hopefully enable other drummers specifically the drummer for bandmate to see this other way of drumming so that they will use this and start drumming and have this extra dynamic with drumming this extra accent with drumming okay thank you Oh no. Okay. Get out of there like that. Oh no, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> So, um, I've recorded a, a um, um, uh, ambidextrous um, setup, and I've recorded a um, right hand setup. Now I'm going to show you the right hand footing, um, so that you can have a better reference for what was done. Okay. Okay. So what you'll see here is that there's the double soft head, which is the um, double left kick. There's a hard head, which is the single pedal that is attached um, left of center. So if you look at the drum set and the, the two pedals there, um, the, the, the left pedal, left of center, is the um, double left kicked, and the right pedal, right of center, is the single um, hard um, um, head kick. So there's a snare drum here, and that one slipped back a little bit. And um, so essentially I have a 22 inch ride, a, um, a light um, hi-hat, um, my snare drum, I just um, broke it. It was the first snare drum I ever got and I, and I broke it. I had that snare drum since just before 2006. Wow, mind blowing. Um, I got an eight inch um, uh, splash. Um, 16, um, let me see the, yeah, 16 inch crash. I got a, a 24 inch ride, a 18 inch crash ride, and then a 36 inch gong. Got a 20 inch um, floor tom, 16 inch floor tom. Um, I believe this one is a 15, no, it might be a 14 inch. Um, not really sure. And then um, that's a 23 inch um, bass drum. And then over there, I have a it's either a 14 inch or a 13 inch uh, drum. Okay, and then got the cowbell. Always need more cowbell. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set up for the left hand setup. And um, this is all just to help out um, drummers to see that there's an 
an added way to drum. The two um, drum, uh, the two pedals right here are attached to that piece of wood behind it. That is this piece of wood. It's a 24 inch by three and a half inch by quarter inch. Um, it's 24 inches um, wide, I believe. Uh, I think that's long. And anyway, so I cut it down to 22 inches and it works perfectly for attaching these two um, pedals, the double left kick and the single pedal. Now, in the, with these pedals, there's like a, a lip that you slip the piece of wood into. It's the same place that you would slip the drum into. And when you use these two pedals that are either left of center and right of center, it creates a space in between where you can put the, the bass drum on and it sits very well in between those two lips that grab the piece of wood. It's, um, it's like an extended piece of metal that um, clamps down on the drum, where, it, where in this case it clamps down on the piece of wood. And since there's two pedals that are um, um, either left of center and right of center, then it creates um, a, 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 posi a place in between them that, that fits the bass drum very well to, to sit upon the wood. So you can really connect very well with the bass drum. Okay, so I'm going to um, change this over to the drum setting and then um, take it from there. I'm going to do a left-handed setup, I record that, and then I'll piece all this stuff together and hopefully it'll be able to help out. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, this is the um, left-handed drum setup with the right double kick pedal and the extra single pedal on the side. The right double kick pedals are hard head and the single pedal is a soft head. It's a, another dynamic um, or accent. Um, it's how I set up with the left-handed side. Um, once I'm done recording this part, I'm going to jam and hopefully get capture something that I can show um, you how it's how it can be used. Um, you won't be able to see me jamming, but I'm hoping that you can hear it and hear the the, the accent of the um, the different dynamic of using um, a double right kick pedal and a single um, pedal at the same time. You know, each um, off center, um, clipped to a board with the bass drum on top. I also wanted to mention too that um, I have these numbers on the wall here um, so that uh, um, it can be referenced uh, with regards to um, how the drum is set up so that you'll have an understanding of where everything is and to know that it's just not some trick of the video or something. Okay, so here we go. This is the left-handed setup. You have the um, gong, the, the floor toms, cymbals, cowbells on the other side, new snare drum, snare head, and then um, all these other cymbals that I've been using. It's using the same hi-hat, but I have a, a heavier hi-hat if I needed it. Okay, so this has a double right kick pedal. I call them double right kick because it's on the right side, but it's actually for a left-handed drum setup. And you'll notice here that there are um, hard heads on this side. And it's a single pedal with a soft head, so that's another dynamic. And then we have the hi-hat symbol here. Okay, so, uh, and then you can tell too that this is clipped to the board with the bass drum sitting on top. And essentially, you can see down there that there's the area, oh, let's see here. There's the area with the, um, the, the, the lip that comes out and captures the drum. But essentially, what I'm doing is, is I'm resting the drum on top um, in front. And so I, I, I can hit the drum very well. And um, I, I also sometimes I rest it on top of the lip, like, um, um, but right now it seems to be just, just in front of the lip. Okay. 
So here we go. Um, I just wanted to mention too, um, I haven't had a chance to see a lot of um, concerts in my in my time, my life. Um, been, you know, trying to find my way of going on from where I was left. And I've been working all my life. I found some moments when I was able to go out and see a concert. And um, I've had the fortune of seeing some some concerts, good concerts that I really wanted to see. And I saw um, Band Made last year in San Francisco in October. And it was the first concert that I ever saw where I got um, uh, sad at the end because I knew it was going to end. So I quickly let that go so that I could um, have a way to uh, enjoy the show. Um, I'm really grateful for um, the women of Bandmate. Um, though, you know, um, just n not in any way of like, um, just, just in a way of gratitude um, it, for enabling me to be inspired with by them and to go on musically and as a person. Okay. Here we go, cool beans. <laughs> 